Hey everybody, and welcome back to Elderberry Sprout. So today I want to do a video that is a flip through of my grimoire. Ooh. <laughs> So it's fall, the season of reflection, and I've been reflecting a lot on what I've learned this year. So I thought now would be a good time to go through my grimoire and see what I've done. I started this grimoire about two years ago, so it hasn't just been this last year that I've been working in it. But let's get started. So to start off, this is a journal that I made in the junk journal style, based off of Pam from the Paper Outposts videos. So I'll link those down below. They're fantastic. And that's absolutely just how I made this entire thing. So on here, originally I wanted to have an Ouroboros on the front, but I realized that that's like the unawakened version of the snake that's stuck in a loop of karma. So I thought the Kundalini snake motif would be more fitting because I want to awaken. That's another version of this eye here, an eye of awakening, seeing all of the patterns of the universe and taking a step back from all of that and not being so response or not not responsive not being so reactive to daily life so anyway that's what my front looks like i've got some little corners here i just got these from a thrift store actually they were on a folder that i then took off and clamped onto my corners so i think total these probably cost like 10 cents they were really cheap <laughs> it was on sale so that was pretty cool i've got a couple of bookmarks here one of them here is a copper style bookmark here. It's like a kind of a shepherd's hook style. And I just put a dangle on there. This is just a uh, hammered copper. So I had some wire and I just hammered it and had this little loop here with a dangle. And it's got a tiger's eye on there for kind of a grounding like protective energy there. Let's get started flipping through. So to start off, here's the front page of my grimoire. You can see here this beautiful card. This is a birthday card I got from my parents and I just loved the kind of like medieval magical energy of that. And there's the front page of my grimoire. It says, of the magical learnings of Elderberry Sprout, may this grimoire cast light upon the unilluminated within me and allow the subconscious to become conscious. May the knowing obtained and recorded within allow my reconnection with self, the Atma experiencing. So from there, you can kind of gather a bit of my uh, spiritual, I guess, beliefs and uh, associations. So I've got a little protection, uh, a sigil there, a page on Thelema, the Enneagram. And again, I love having pages that are unfinished because it allows for me to have space to continue learning on the same page. So this Enneagram page, not done yet. And that's totally okay. <laughs> Another Theosophy page there, some empty pages at the beginning. So this is a page that was in one of my older grimoires. I ripped it out and just taped it in there, or rather glued it in there. Same with that one. My first magical memory. Oh, the laws of creation according to Bashar. Gotta love Bashar. Oh, and I, I taped these pages in. These are pages for, I have, you can, I don't know if you can read it up here, it says the new earth. I'm going to be doing a spread here of what I envision the new earth looking like because we're going into 5D consciousness, everybody. <laughs> so we need to focus on what we want to bring into this new world. But anyway, these pages are pretty cool. They've got stars. Let me get this one open too. A whole bunch of stars on them. I used these patterns to make some shower curtains. So I was experimenting and I printed them off and I was like, those are actually kind of pretty. <laughs> so maybe I'll save them. And I taped them on in here. And I have this spread for my own space, which is just so happens to be what I'm filming in right now. So I've actually already manifested this one. And here I've got my natal chart. This page is kind of done. This one isn't quite. I'm going to do more details there. That's okay. Let's see here. Oh, so these are some of the charts from my natal chart, just taped in in little fold outs. I'm a Gemini, <laughs> a Gemini Capricorn Gemini. So lots of Gemini energy. So I don't really like to define my, I guess, magical craft too much. But if I had to, which, which I'm still not, but I am, I definitely practice cottage witchcraft and 
hedge witchcraft quite a bit, so astral projection and general just homesteading practices. So here I have a page on onking, There's some affirmations for the morning and the evening. And then there's the ikigai, which is a Japanese practice of finding your life's purpose. And I haven't finished filling that out, and that's okay. Some self-worth affirmations. I actually keep this page open on my uh, altar quite frequently, just so I can come back and kind of ground into my own love of myself. And that's a really awesome practice for me to do. Oh, and here's a page I have on sigils. It's kind of a flip out page, so you can see I have some sigils there. I've got a couple little tuck spots here with some sigils on some cards. Oh, I've got my gua sha pages. If you guys have never done gua sha scraping on your face, it's one of the times that it just forces me to breathe out and release all my tension. So I try to do that as often as I can in the morning, particularly around my eyebrows. I find, I find a lot of tension is stored there for me. That's how you scrape on your body. Oh, <laughs> I've had a lot of dreams with this spaceship in it, so I actually have this in another part of my journal as well. Some power statements. How to transform darkness into light. This is a good page if you're ever feeling low to look into that. Oh, and this is a page on the vibration of consciousness. So what different emotions, what the vibrational resonance of those are. It's a page on hemisync and binaural beats that will allow for your brain to hemisync <laughs> so that different hemispheres will synchronize up. It's pretty cool. Empty page there. Oh, a pineal breath to release DMT. Uh, oh, it's dream signs. So here you can see there's that little spaceship again. But these are the signs that I see in my dream that allow for me to realize that, wait, this is a dream, isn't it? So I've got a couple of those. That's not all of them. But then I've got this little card here, different things I want to try out in my dream life or dreamscape and some uh, adventures I'd like to have. Then I've got lucid dream page there, just reality checks, my dream symbols, how useful a dream journal can be. Oh, and here's an astral travel page, and this is an astral portal. So sometimes I'll leave this open and try to use it as an astral portal portal to transport myself astrally to different locations. Oh, and I have, for these astral projection pages, I actually have a blog post for these that go into a little bit more detail if you're interested. This invisibility cloak spell is fan-freaking-tastic if you guys have trouble with boundaries. I do this not even when I'm in my astral body, just to protect myself physically as well, and my energy body, so that's a really useful spell. Oh, and here is my ancestors page. I have the beginning of a... See, a beginning of a family tree. So, I can't show you all of it here, but it folds out. Oh, I'm so excited to finish that up. Oh, let me scooch that guy out of the way. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. So I'm going to continue to fill that out as time goes on. A page on Shungai, some of my inspirations. Oh, Tamlin. This is an old folk story that I just find so fascinating and beautiful. So I did this kind of art journal spread about it. Whenever I find that I'm really drawn to something, I know there's something inherent in that that resonates with me. So sometimes I like to explore, I'm like, why do I even like this so much? <laughs> so doing this allowed for me to explore why I like this so much. I'm not done with it, of course. <laughs> That's going to be a theme here. So there's some empty space up here I haven't quite filled up yet. Ah, oh, so Molly Roberts had this really cool idea of making this window. So you can see I have some tissue paper with some, I think, Mod Podge over it to make it a little sturdier. Um, but you can see this candle over here and you can see a TV through here because those are the things you kind of see through windows. Then I have this mending magic page, which I absolutely love how this turned out. I wish I had recorded this process, but I did it on the couch and that happens sometimes. But I absolutely love mending, and the cool thing about mending is that if you don't have a specific spell to kind of infuse into your mending project, you can always just say, you know what, I'm helping to heal the earth by not purchasing new things and by taking care of the things that I do have. So, ah, oh, I love how that turned out. 
here I just got a little drawing of an evening sunset. Some art prints there. My human design chart. Here, I'll pause there if you guys are interested. I have a lot of open energy centers. That's, I don't know if you, <laughs> you can probably understand now why my boundaries is a pretty important thing for me. Some more information about human design. The gene keys, that's also related to human design. I haven't dug too much into this, but it's pretty important stuff. More gene key stuff. I don't know how I'm gonna use this page, but we'll see. It should be interesting whatever I end up doing. Oh, and I have a grimoire with me page for this one. Sheila Jeet and Activated Charcoal are great. They are great things and I love them for my spiritual practice. I also have a spread of this, my little grimoire with me video. I think that was my last one actually. <laughs> Oh, I love how that turned out too. And I, I've been leaving this open on my on my uh, altar as well, just to remind myself of my own inner strength. Super helpful. Oh, and here I have the scroll. <laughs> I think I'm gonna write some type of declaration on it because it's so official. This is just a piece of stationery that I found and uh, it's so formal and official. So I'll have to put something important in there. Oh, and now we're in my alien section. So here we're starting off with the grays. Pleiadians, blue avians, the Lyrans, the Anunnaki. As you can see, I'm not done with all these. I just kind of do bits and pieces when they strike me. I also like to have the empty space so when I learn more, I can add more in there. Anunnaki, the reptilians, the Arcturians. I feel a kindred spirit with Arcturians mainly and the Pleiadians. Uh, angels, the mantis beings, Syrians, and here I'm going to do a page for all of the Ascended Masters, so Yeshua, Adamus, Buddha, etc. The Orion, Orionians? <laughs> I think that's what they're called. <laughs> Something like that. The folks from Orion. <laughs> some empty pages here. <laughs> oh, here we go. And now we get into the section where I do my Sabbath pages. So I mainly do these when I have a lot of time on my hands because my collaging process tends to take a couple of hours. But what I like to do is have an art, like kind of a, a mood board in the first year. And then the second year, I'll layer information onto it. You'll see that later on. But here we have Ostero, We've just got a, a big old egg there. Beltane and Litha. So here's an example of uh, just the mood board of Litha. So summery and bright. Lamas, Mabon. So here also you can see that. So I just put down this beautiful fall uh, landscape photo there first, and then I kind of added the information on the next year. But I actually learned that Mabon isn't called Mabon, it's just the vernal equinox. Somebody made up the name of Mabon. It wasn't truly associated with the holiday until like the 70s or something, which I guess doesn't make it fake. It just doesn't make it really super traditional. <laughs> and I have my Samhain page here and my Yule page. So I've got this little spell. It's a pine cone with a whole bunch of little rolled up pieces of paper in it. And that's a spell I did last Yule. And so I like to have like a little picture to represent that. So this is my little wheel of the year that also has the moon phases in it and information about that. Just a moon, I was making a patch, <laughs> I was doing an embroidered patch of the moon and this was a printout I used as kind of a pattern. So I was like, oh, once I was done with it, cut it out and glued it in here. And I've got the different moon phases, some empty pages here, and then I get to this next signature where I had this bookmark. So I can take this guy out now. <laughs> so I've got this little folder. Let me fold that up. You can see it was just a manila envelope, but then I put be wild and some fairies on there. So that's just nice. I can tuck whatever I want in there. And I think for most of this is pretty empty. This is the last signature. I haven't quite gotten to it yet, but this I want to be a vision board page. Let me see what else I got in here. Oh, I do have some interesting pages I've glued in. This was again from that uh, Little Red Riding Hood book. You can see, flip that out. We've got the little uh, forester guy there. 
They've got a cauldron bubbling and boiling. Some borders on some pages. Oh, there's another border. Another border on that page. Some blackberries. Oh, and I've got the flower of life here. Nothing too exciting. This is going to be my little sacred geometry section. It's a pretty important part of my spiritual practice, so I'm surprised I haven't done that already. And I think that brings us to the end. Here's another little pocket. I'm going to decorate that some more later. And at the very back of my journal, I have pages where I, or I guess clips with ideas for new pages, little notes that I want to include in there. And I have these things, which are super important. So these are little papers that I like to insert when I'm working at on a certain page. So I can do watercolors, I can do acrylics, and I know that the pages behind the pages I'm working on will be protected. So let's do an example of that. So say I was gonna do this page. Be able to tuck this guy in here, and tuck this guy in there. You can see I can, I can oh, there we go. <laughs> I can protect the pages that are behind it. So I can paint and get it as messy as I want without having to worry. So those are super useful. I did put a couple of uh, little tuck spots here for some stuff. Boop, boop. But yeah, I just like to store my, my notes back here. Anyway, there you have it, my grimoire flip through. <laughs> I hope you guys really enjoyed seeing all the pages I've done here. Of course, as you know, magic is a continual process, as with any type of alchemy. So it's a growing process. Spiritual practice is just learning and learning and learning. <laughs> anyway, I hope this gave you some inspiration for your own grimoires. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye. Thank you.